Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Academy. In this video, we'll talk about why we have got uh, concrete bands in the brick walls. So if you walk at the site or you have been at the site, you know, for the provision or just for the site visit, then uh, while a local brick wall is under construction, so this is a fair face brick, okay, so it doesn't have any plaster on it. The local brick walls that you build inside of the building or sometimes outside, they do have got uh, concrete bands that are placed like this, okay. So in the fair face brick walls, uh, they are hidden inside the brick and in the local brick walls, they are hidden by the plaster. Uh, this is the concrete Okay. so this is the concrete band so they are placed like this so uh, why we do that so the reason uh, there are two reasons actually so the primary reason is that so suppose uh, this is your floor okay so this is your floor level and this is your upper floor level and this is the height of your brick wall okay so when there is earthquake uh, there is movement of this wall so in that case the chances of this brick wall being getting toppled or you know falling is very high due to its large height so in order to reduce the height so that is suppose uh, we, we provide it at one meter okay so this just uh, supposition so if we provide this lintel band at one meter then the height of the brick wall this is one meter and this is now h minus one meter so which means that we have reduced the height of the brick wall so by reducing the height of the brick wall the chances of this wall getting toppled during the earthquake or falling during the earthquake is very less this is the primary reason that we provide that we provide the brick wall the second reason is that okay so let me raise these things okay so the second reason is that uh, suppose that we don't have any uh, you know this uh, 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 this concrete band so let us suppose it and uh, so let me raise it okay so in that situation uh, in that situation what happens is uh, suppose you know so this is your floor so during the earthquake during the earthquake uh, what happens is that there is a crack here right so if there is no lintel band then this crack will propagate in this direction or you know like this okay but if you have got a lintel band here okay so if you got a lintel band here in that situation the crack will only propagate up to this portion so it won't go in this brick wall and by doing this we can save this brick wall from falling so if the crack propagates all the way here the brick wall will fall okay so if the crack is only up to here the brick wall won't fall so this is the second reason for which we provide uh, the concrete band so overall the concrete band is provided so that so that we can increase the strength and stability of the brick wall during the earthquake it is only helpful in case of the later loads be it the earthquake load or the wind load it can be any all right so having known that what is the lintel band and why we provide it now i'll tell you how we provide it so let me open a structural drawing for it okay this one so this is a typical uh, elevation of the wall with bands so you can see you can see that uh, these are the columns okay so all the reinforcement of the column and this is a door over here this is a window this is also another door you can see that you can see that these lintel bands have been provided okay vertical and the horizontal and also the horizontal uh, why these vertical lintel bands have been provided so for that uh, for that I'll explain it in the sketchbook okay No, all right. so, so suppose that uh, this is your column so one column this is your another column and this is your floor okay and this is your upper floor and you got a wall here so this is all a brick wall okay so this is a, a brick wall and what I have said is that we provide the lintel band like this 
okay while providing the lintel band so what we do uh, let me see if this information is provided in the AutoCAD drawing yeah so you can see over here that uh, so the lintel band uh, a small portion of the rebar is drilled into the column okay so here you can see that uh, while constructing the lintel band so what you have to do is so you have to drill the columns here at the face and once you drill you have to insert the rod the iron bar like this and the same iron bar goes here into the lintel band so in case where there are two doors so you got a door here okay so I'll just I know, sketch another one right okay so the one column uh, this is another column this is your floor and this is your top floor so you got a, a door here let's suppose and you get another door here mm -hmm. so in this case uh, now that you have to provide a lintel band here so let me change the color of the lintel band so you have to provide the lintel band here Okay, so the lintel band is here so in that situation uh, you now that you cannot you know drill the lintel band into the column so due to this reason the lintel band is not supported at all it doesn't transfer any load brick wall is directly supported on the lintel band and it is it is not supported anywhere in the column so due to this reason what we do we provide the vertical bands like this so these are the vertical bands this is the horizontal band and this is also the vertical band and these vertical bands are gripped into the slab the same way you drill the columns you have to drill the slab so either you can drill or what you can do while you construct the columns you have to uh, you have to insert a rebar like this okay so later what you can do so you have got a rebar you can just lap the bar like this this is how you can construct a lintel band uh, let me show you the rebar configuration of the lintel band now so here uh, you can see that you can see that the uh, depth of this lintel band is equal to 75 mm that is 3 inches and at the point where there is a window uh, the depth is increased twice that is of the 150 mm so 75 mm 150 mm that is the depth okay and uh, and the width of this lintel band is equal to the width of the brick wall that is if it is 230 mm it's 230 if it is uh, 110 mm it's 110 mm so now the reinforcement if we talk about it so here you can see a straight bar then over the section bars so how you provide the reinforcement okay so let me delete these all things uh, now let me draw a section so I'll draw which section so I'll draw uh, this section okay so this section so what it's gonna look so it's gonna look like it's like this so this is your rebar the longitudinal rebar and this is your transverse rebars okay so if I draw uh, this section cut this section then it's gonna look like it's gonna look like so this is the width that is 230 mm okay and this is the depth that is 75 mm and you got two bars like this okay so these bars are actually two in numbers so they are these bars and these bars are actually connected by these bars okay so they are on the top so what you have to do you have to join them like this sometimes what you can do you can just put them at the bottom also so you put the uh, you know small bars the transverse bars like this and put your longitudinal bars like this just to tie them up okay so these two bars you can uh, use from 12 to uh, 16 mm and these two bars you can use uh, 6 to 8 mm no need to go very high values so these two bars so they bar these bars go uh, these bars go all the way longitudinally and these are the transverse bars that tie these two bars and at the junctions and at the junctions what happens is so and at the junctions what happens is so you can see this thing as over here also so this bar you got one bar and one on the other side two bars and at the junction so this bar that comes all the way from the beam so if you if the wall is on the beam it's okay you can take the you know take the reinforcement from the beam and 
and as far as possible you have to insert the bar while you are casting the beam and if you for somehow forgot you have to drill there is no other option so this bar all the way comes from the beam and goes into this horizontal band up to a distance of up to a distance of ld so this is the development length okay and and it, it has also got these tie bars okay so similarly for the other parts also you can just follow this method this is how the concrete bands are provided in a brick wall hope this video was helpful thank you for watching and take care